So in this mini tutorial we're going to look some more at working with dilutions. Now we see in uh, chapter 5 how the amount of substance present in moles is related to the concentration and volume of the solution by the expression uh, n, so number of moles, is equal to the concentration times the volume. Now when we do dilute a solution the number of moles actually stays the same. It's just present in a larger volume of solution after the dilution. So if you imagine that initially before the solution is diluted we can write that the amount present in moles n is equal to the initial concentration C1 multiplied by the initial volume V1. After dilution the number of moles is equal to the new concentration C2 times the new volume V2. But because n is the same in both cases it hasn't changed we can then write that C1 times V1 is equal to C2 times V2. And this is a very useful relationship to use when we're thinking about working with dilutions and what concentrations and volumes are involved. For example, let's imagine that we have a solution, so we have a 0.2 molar solution, which is equivalent to saying 0.2 moles per litre solution, and we have 20 mils of that solution, and we dilute it to a new volume of 50 mils. And our question is, what is the concentration of this diluted solution? So we come to our relationship that C1 times V1 equals C2 times V2. So our unknown quantity in this case, the thing we're trying to determine, is the new concentration, C2. So what we want to do is rearrange this equation to isolate C2. So we do this by saying C1 times V1 divided by V2 equals C2. And if you just write out to show what's happened there, so we've said that was the original, we've divided by V2, so again when we're rearranging the equation we do the same thing to both sides of the equation. Those cancel out and we're left with C2 by itself. C2 equals C1 times V1 over V2. And now we can add in our known values. So the initial concentration we've said is 0 0.2 molar or 0 0.2 moles per litre. Our initial volume is 20 mils. Now like without, with other calculations we've done we have to express uh, volume in terms of litres not millilitres. So we write this as 0 0.02 litres and we're dividing all of this by V2, which is 50 mils, again expressed in litres, it's 0 0.05 litres, which equals 0 0.08 moles per litre. So that moles per litre comes from these litres cancelling themselves out there, leaving us with moles per litre as the units of this equation there. So our new concentration after dilution is 0 0.08 moles per litre. Now let's take another example um, and say we have a solution, so we have a 50 ml solution this time with a concentration of 2 molar. And we want to dilute it to a new concentration of 0 0.5 molar. So the question is how much water do we need to add to the solution to dilute it from 2 molar to 0 0.5 molar. So let me come back to again to our expression C1 times V1 equals C2 times V2. And this time our unknown quantity, so that's 2 there just to be clear, our unknown quantity is the final volume V2. So again we rearrange, this time dividing through by C2. So you see, say that C1 times V1 over C2 is equal to V2. 
two. So that's just a two there, like that. So again, we can add in our known values. So our initial concentration is two moles per litre. Our initial volume is 50 mils. So again, we write that in litres. And C2, our final concentration is 0 0.5 moles per litre. And when we work this through, we find this value is 0 0.2 litres. So again, in this case, the moles per litre on the bottom cancels with the moles per litre on the top to leave us with units of litres here, so 0 0.2 litres. That's our final volume. But our question was, how much water do we need to add? We know that our final volume needs to be 0 0.2 litres, but we started off with 50 mils. So the amount of water we actually need to add is 0 0.2 litres minus our initial amount, which is 0 0.05 litres which equals 0.15 litres, in other words, 150 mils. So to dilute our solution from 2 molar to 0.5 molar, we add 150 mils of water.